guys. Okay, so this is the first update for the I always have something going on in the background. But I'm I'm in I'm in the middle of decluttering as always. But um my first update for the disputes, etc., etc., for my collections. One second. Now, again, uh, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a credit repair expert, but I am repairing my own credit because I feel like it is something that can be done if you do research and you have the discipline to handle your own credit repair. I don't know if it annoys you, but hearing motorcycles go by and sirens go by when I'm trying to record does kind of irritate me. But I've said that, I won't say it again. But um, I might, I don't know. But <laughs> so if you notice this, I'm just going to kind of cover this up though. But I do have something filled out on here before it was empty. So I do have my one, and I do need to write a couple updates on here. So since I started this, dispute journey or I'll just call it credit repair I have disputed two accounts so far and I have one in settlement so when I said that I was going to just go ahead and dispute all nine I, I thought to myself well uh, now, if you have some and you want to use that method that I was going to use, or let's say if you have five collections and you want to just dispute each one and see what happens to your score, etc., etc. So I'm going to check here and see live with you. I'm going to see because it's only been. I really don't think anything will change right now. It has to be something really, really just drastic. For you to get a change uh, in within 30 days, I'll say, because I usually get my update on my score every 30 days at Credit Sesame. And if you want your credit score, you can go do annual credit report. I'll list it across the screen. There's three that I've used, and you can also Google how to get a free credit report. So I have two in dispute and one in settlement. And I wrote down, I don't know where I put it, I have to find it because I have my credit repair file right here. But I wrote down the settlement amounts that I wanted to offer in case they are proven valid after the dispute. But there was some that I just said, well you know what, I know this is valid especially for my Capital One City and Discover and Nordstrom. I want to go ahead and maybe have those again, so I want to clear clear that up, clear that balance up, or pay off the collection. And I also found out with my settlement account that's in progress right now that I would get a paid in full letter 10 days after the last payment, and then I would get a pay for deletion, or not pay for deletion. Well, it, it I, I am paying it, so, but I said I wanted to be deleted, but yeah, my score didn't change right now. It's still, it's still the same. I'm probably not going to expect a change until at least the beginning of October. And so I wrote down the settlement amounts that I wanted to offer for the accounts that are, are valid. I think out of these nine, I might have one that is just deleted for not being able to prove to be valid. But in case they are all proven to be valid, I wrote down what I wanted to pay, what I wanted to offer. But for this one, because I've been paying on this, this is my capital one. I've been paying on this one for a while. So that's pretty much the update for that. It's just that 
my Capital One is being settled right now. I've been paying a little bit here and there to get it taken care of. And if you're interested in percentages, as far as if you do want to settle, what percentage? I was looking at, but is it Journey with the Hintons? I'll leave it. I'll leave it across the screen too. But she was saying that when she was getting her credit repaired because she wanted to buy a home, that I think 40 to 60 percent is a good amount to offer to settle for. I didn't really do an offer because I guess with me disputing okay first I went to annual credit report and I got all three I'm eligible because I think you can get one per year unless there's a, some other circumstances you would have to research and see but I was eligible to get my free credit report from Experian, Equifax and TransUnion and so I guess that when I put my other accounts in dispute they must have seen that I was being active with my credit and they contacted me but again I've been paying on this periodically so they still I've been in touch with them they've been in touch with me so they finally and they said do you know that you still have an a valid offer from October and I was like oh wow I didn't know it was good for a year but but yeah I have been paying them sometime in the last 12 months not the, not consistently over the last 12 months but at least once or twice and so they said, you still have a settlement offer that's valid. And I went ahead and took it. The original balance was five something. So now I'm paying four something. If you can get it lower if you want to. I didn't want to go back and forth right now. I just wanted to go ahead and agree to the four something. Because originally when I started off, it was... 600 but I guess um, I guess they've knocked off a little here and there because I had an agreement and I paid on that agreement but then it fell off I guess it was it fell off somewhere when I lost that job but that wasn't in the last 12 months when I lost that job and my credit went downhill that was more towards May of 2019 but that's the update for that. I will come back with more updates when I get... I'll probably update the next one when I get my results from the two disputes. So that'll be probably early October. Hey, it's Mo, just Mo Life, and this is early October when I record this portion of the video. So I have... The, let me go ahead and show the paper update. So this is the update now. I have nine collections as of this date. Again, early October, it's like the 2nd of October. I don't have any word on my dispute yet. So I'm gonna give it till maybe October 10th or so and then I'll come in you know and happy of October by the way because when I recorded the other portion that was still September after I started everything but this is October 2nd when I record this portion and I did notice that as of today the score went down two points but I don't have they didn't give me an update on the dispute. I disputed, let me see, I wrote it down. Was it discover? Um, so there's two in dispute, one in settlement, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six that are just waiting, waiting for me to see. I was I settled one, I settled Capital One because I want another Capital One card. I think Capital One was the first card that I tried to get to reestablish my credit because once upon a time I had excellent credit. I had platinum cards and everything. That was in my early 20s when I didn't know what I was doing with credit. But of course I, I did it, I did it right because, but what I did wrong was I kept applying for credit cards and I had like maybe 10 credit cards and it was overwhelming. I didn't make enough money to maintain all those cards unless I just charged maybe five dollars on each one and paid it off real quick but anyway i don't think depending on what you have going on but for me i don't need 10 credit cards 
But yeah, that is the update for now. Stay tuned. Maybe I'll just do weekly check-ins on this and let you know what's happening. But for now, I'm still waiting on my dispute. So I think I disputed it. Did I write the date? Let me see. I hope everyone's budgeting and credit is going well. I'm trying to get this credit right. You know, just... I mean, for nothing, even if I wasn't trying to buy a home or anything. Okay, I wrote down that around October 4th I should get... Oh, no, October 4th is... It says 9-9. Nine, nine. Okay, yeah, so I think around 9-9 nine, nine I started everything. So around maybe October 10th I'll get a dispute update. So just stay tuned and thanks for watching.